So I remember just after we moved into that location, then I looked around in our environment and the question on my mind was, where are the places that people go? Where are the places, which places attract a lot of people? And there was a fast food restaurant, you know, that had opened and it was the rave of the moment and a lot of people were going there. I went there. I went there. I'd been there before, but I went this time on a mission. That was a question on my mind. Why do people come here? So I observed everything. When I drove close to their premises, there was someone to guide me on how to park. The person was in uniform. The person even helped me to open the door, you know, of my car. When I was to go in through the door, there was another person there to open the door, you know, and the person greeted politely. I bought the food. The food was good. The food was good. Uh, and that's important. <laughs> that's important. If it's a restaurant, you can have the best rug in the world, the best air conditioning in the world, the best colors and paint. If the food is not good, sorry, you missed it. Because that's the core business. Mm -hmm. And the food in the house of God is the word. Amen. Anyway, I saw the food, the ambience of the environment, the music, the, uh, the flowers, the colors, everything. I took everything in. Because I knew to attract the same people who would need to do the same thing. Okay? Uh, it, it's amazing how churches sometimes take things for granted because they know people want God then they think yeah since they don't have a choice and they must want God then we can afford to offer them a quality that is less than what they are used to and it we, somewhere along the line we get to discover that's a mistake um, anyway there's a men's clothes shop directly across the road from the restaurant. So some other time, I went to the men's clothes shop. I walked in and they presented a basket of sweets, offered me sweets. Okay, this is nice. As I began to look at the, the clothes that they had, especially the suits, the manager walked up to me. She asked if I knew exactly what I wanted. I said, well, generally, just to look around. Um, so I was looking around. Prices were exciting. Example, I saw this pair of suits, 99,000 naira. That was 18 years ago. Aha, I need to put it in proper perspective for you. At that time, that amount of money was several times my salary. Okay, my monthly salary. So, of course, the first thing is, whoa. Why should this suit be this expensive? And then I remembered why I came. Come to think of it. If there were no people buying, this shop would not be open. So some people come here. I want them to come to church. So I had to pay attention to the ambience, to the environment, to the quality, you know, of the shop, the tiles, the everything, but more importantly, how they treated me. I bought a shirt, you know, the manager was asking, okay, what's the color of the suit that you're going to put on it? So I can also recommend the color of the tie that you need to, you know, use with the shirt and so on. It was a beautiful experience. As I stepped out of the door, the owner was outside. He had been having a chat with someone. So he quickly came up to me. I hope my people treated you well. I hope they, did you get what you wanted and all that. I felt so good. I, I mean, I told Pastor Nikkei when I left the place, I'm going to go back to that shop sometime. Apart from the fact that I'm going to go back there to buy suits. By faith. I, I, <laughs> I was declaring that by faith. I, just, I like the way they treat people. 
see. And then, of course, I came back and we began to tweak things in the church. Tweak things, tweak things, because we wanted the same people. The day the owner of the men's shop walked up to me, not long after that, after a service, he came to church. I said, wow, it's working. It's working. Quality attracts quality.